kids and coaches. I'm Coach Kim Murphy. We're here on the Kim Murphy Podcast again. I've got a good interview with old Art Warren coming up for you. But uh, before we do that, we had some stuff that happened since last time I talked to you around MLB, and uh, we're going to talk about it. First things first, old Mike Clevenger, he was one of the uh, one of the first few guests I had on the podcast, became the first podcast guest to get traded. Hell, the Indians shipped him off to San Diego. And, you know, hell, I figure old Sunshine should probably fit right in down there in San Diego as long as, you know, you don't get like a surfing injury or something with that hair. You know what I mean? But, hell, he'll probably be all right out there. Maybe they'll let him bat and he can get in the middle of that lineup with Tatis and Machado and Hosmer and all them guys start crushing some dingers with them. You know, hell, they need some more Grand Slam hitters on 3-0 counts as far as I'm concerned. We also had a game that ended the Reds won a, won a game with a walk-off wild pitch. Oh, Craig Kimball. Here Look comes Castellanos to the plate. The can't running. even make it to the plate. Whoa. Man, that guy can't even, I mean, hell, he can't save himself, let alone a, a baseball game right now. He needs to save them pussy-ass off-speed pitches and just throw fastballs, you know what I mean? Otherwise, he might have not hooked that thing past the catcher and, and blew the game. But uh, in other news with good pitchers, Giolito for the White Sox, hell, he threw a no-hitter. So I guess if they ain't going to let you bat, you know what I mean? You might as well just make sure nobody else gets hit either. So that's the way I see it. But also maybe just stop playing half the game and get up there and crush some dangers too. I guess no-hitters are cool. But it would be, be a lot cooler if you threw a no-hitter and also crushed a couple of dangers. But whatever, you know what I mean? Just my opinion, I guess. We got uh, Manny, Manny, old Manny Ramirez. Hell, he signed a deal to be a player coach in Australia. I didn't even know they played baseball in Australia. I thought because like the toilets flush like the other way down there, and they got like a bunch of snakes and spiders that I don't really care to to mess with. I didn't know they played baseball. I thought they just like sat in bars and punched each other. So you know, good for him. I guess that's Manny being Manny. I don't know how they say it down there, man. You know, I, hell, I can't do. That kind of accent. I bet he'll crush some dingers down there, though. Hell, he's a Hall of Famer here, so I don't know. Maybe he spent all his money trying to get his hair longer, I guess. I don't I don't know. Maybe that's why he's doing it. Uh, we got, oh, man, oh, boy. My favorite my favorite guy, your favorite guy, old stupid butthole Rob Manfred. He tried to get the Mets to stage a protest. <laughs> so I guess maybe he thought it'd make the league look better or some crap like that. And then the old boy for the Mets, the GM for the Mets, he's on the, he's on video, didn't know it. He's like, he basically is like, yeah, this guy's stupid. He don't know what he's doing. You know, I guess Manfred should probably stage a press conference for himself, nut tap himself and just fire himself. So we don't, we'd have to stop looking at his stupid face all the time. Cause that guy's just ruining baseball. It's time to go, Rob. Get the hell out of here. But now we're moving on to the highlight of the week. It's also from the Reds-Cubs game. They got into a, uh, a bench clearing, and uh, let's just take a look at it. So basically what happens, pitch goes over the guy's head. Umpire gives warnings to everybody. No big deal. And then another pitch comes inside, and everybody gets all butthurt. The, the Reds manager's like, oh, my God, he almost hit my batter. And the umpire's like, well, almost don't count except for horseshoes and hand grenades, you know what I mean? And he starts crying, as they do. Guy on first starts John. Joel, Joey Votto starts John from the dugout. And then everybody comes out. Watch this. When they all come out, they all just stand around like a bunch of puds. Not one, not one punch thrown and the whole bunch. Just a bunch of guys standing around like, I'll beat you up. No, I'll beat you up. Well, first of all, you ain't going to do crap. You know what I mean? This is like the worst thing I've ever seen. Just a bunch of just a bunch of grown men standing around pretending like they want to fight each other, but without the actual guts to fight each other. You know what I mean? Hell, you're already you're already breaking protocol right there. You know what I mean? You ain't social distanced. You know, you, if you're gonna get COVID, you might as well punch somebody. That's what I'm. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, that's just that's disappointing. You know, there's. 50 of those guys out there, and not one of them, you know, throwing a punch at each other. So that's the highlight of the week, or maybe the low light. But I uh, hope you guys stick around because I got old Art Warren coming up for you. We had a great, uh, great interview with that guy. And I'll see you guys next week on the podcast. We're here today with Art Warren. Art, how you doing, man? I'm good. How you doing, Kent? Hey, I'm always doing great, brother. You, you said you're out in Tacoma, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. here in the taxi squad in Tacoma. 
How, what's that? What's that like with the Texans? You've been going kind of back and forth a little bit. Yeah. You're talking to a bunch of players, you know. It's I haven't heard that experience yet. What do you? What's it? What's it like for you? It's it's brutal. I'm be honest with you. You know, <laughs> uh, you wake up early, you go to the field, and about every three days you're throwing. We're throwing live at bats. Um, with the way things have been going, we don't have enough to to field a full a squad on on defense. So basically, you're just doing live at bats against the same hitters over and over again. Um, and then after that, you come back and you sit in the hotel room and play video games all day. And then you go back the next day and repeat. It's rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Hell yeah! Are they, are they, are, are, <laughs> Not really. <laughs> are they letting you? Are they letting you take any at bats out there? I know you're a pitcher, but no. Nah, are you letting? Unfortunately, they didn't see my footage from the uh, the wiffle ball game. <laughs> so I got the picture up there. <laughs> yeah, I haven't gotten any abs yet. You think you can still hit some dingers? Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like the. I see. I'm. I'm with that now. It may take a while, but I'll eventually get one. That's. I'm. Ta- that's what I'm talking about. They got to get rid of that stupid DH rule and let you guys bat. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, man. I may pull an oblique, but I'm gonna swing as hard as I can. <laughs> I love it. Did you hit? Did you hit a bunch of dingers? Did you play in high school and college? I think I hit like five my senior year. I was more so like a, a like an average hitter, you know. Like okay. Two, three, All right. Like five homers. You know. Throwing a few RBIs. You know, I wasn't hitting like 20 bombs in high school. <laughs> you should have been. You need to eat more cheese dogs, brother, I'll tell you. <laughs> Is that the key? That's, that's I'm telling you, a secret and ingredient, man. It's got, you got all that gluten in there. You got some cheese. All the nutrients man, you need right there. I'm going to need a you lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to need some lactate. I'm going to be eating that much cheese. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'll get you on my diet hell. you run that fastball up to 100 and you'll hit dingers every day. It's great. It's a hell of a life. That is a hell of a life. You're 100 percent right. <laughs> what position did you play when you were in high school besides pitcher? Man, I played. I played third base. That was it. Like third base and, and pitch. You know, a I never hot played. corner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hot corner, man. I, I never played in the outfield. It was always it was always third base. Um, even like in like, you know, when I was in little league, I caught. I think for one season in little league when I was like 10 or 11. But man, catching sucks, man. It hurts. My knees were so sore. I. I told my mom I was done with that. I needed to go somewhere yeah. else. <laughs> I, I ain't got time for that crap. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I'm 11 years old. Hot summer day. <laughs> you think you can still glove one over at third right now? Oh, yeah. I've been taking some ground balls out here just messing around okay. after I, you know, get my work in. And, you know, I've picked a few. So all right. All right. 100%. So you can hit some dingers and you can glove. All right, man. We're yeah, on the, we're on the right track. Watching, Feel free to try me out at third base, Jerry. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Hell, I'll get you. I'll get you on. I'll get you on a squad. We'll get. We'll go out there and hit dingers together, man. Hey, you can come play in my men's league. I don't care. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Man. So you got. So last year you got called up for the first time. Yeah. In September, right? Yep. Who was the first person you called? First person I called was my mom. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, it was no. Who no Who was more excited, you or her? I think she was. You yeah. know, like the teary excitement, like, you know, like the scream that our moms do when you tell them exciting news. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. She was pumped. And then I just yeah. threw it down the line. Uh, what I enjoyed doing was, like, eventually I got to the point where I was, like, calling people and saying, like, hey, what are you doing, you know, like, on this day where we're going to Pittsburgh because I'm from Ohio. Yeah. It was like a weekend series in Pittsburgh. What, what are you doing on this weekend? They're like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, well, you want to come to Pittsburgh and watch me pitch in the big leagues? And, you know, <laughs> hearing, like, their excitement, it was, like, it was pretty cool. Did you ever call? Did you call up any of like your your enemies and be like, "Hey, just so you know, I made it." Just to remind See you, you later. Like, you guys don't know what <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just just remind them that you're you know you're the king supreme and they ain't. So right. you know what I mean. No, I didn't. I figured that then <laughs> my name pop up on Twitter would be the satisfaction enough. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> just keep posting pictures, rub it in. I love it. Exactly. So you grew you grew up in Ohio. Were you a Reds or an Indians fan growing up? So I actually grew up. Uh, going to like my first big league game I went to was the Tigers. So the Tigers versus the Yankees. Okay. Yeah. Curtis Granderson hit a homer. Derek Jeter made a nice play in the hole at shortstop. Yeah. Yeah. So it was cool. I so I and then I grew up going to the Toledo Mudhens games all the time. So obviously with the Tigers farm system there, you know I was kind of more into the Tigers and the Indians. Yeah. Um, we got people in my area. We got Cubs fans. We got. Reds fans, Indians, Tigers, because in that northwest corner of Ohio, we got no major league team there. Oh, so yeah. Teams just, you know, fans just kind of all spread out. 
Yeah, I used to spend some time up in Detroit, man. I go up to Tigers games all the time. <laughs> I go I go down to the old Shillelagh down in Greektown and just get all messed up and go to the game. Yeah, that's the best and way And I get go. kicked out because they yep. wouldn't let me play. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> who, was your, who was your favorite player on those Tigers teams growing up? You know, I, I loved watching Joel Zamaya. I, he's my favorite yeah? player still. Yeah, Joel Zamaya, he, you know, he's got the, the tatted arm sleeve with the, <laughs> the, the flames. I watched yeah. him and Fernando Rodney. Rodney Rodney used to throw some heat, man. Yeah. I mean, he, that, guy's, he, that guy's got it still. Uh, I don't yeah. know how, but um, <laughs> but I watched those guys rehab, and, uh, you know, they were throwing like 98. Fernando Rodney was throwing 98, and Zamaya was throwing like 101 or whatever. You know, Zamaya plays Guitar Hero. I mess around with Guitar Hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, your, what's your favorite song on Guitar Hero to play? All right, what so you- my favorite song is uh, – it's by, um, I think it's by Creed on there. It's or what or no, it's by Lincoln Park. It's what I've done, and the only reason yeah. why it's my favorite one is because it's the easiest one to play. I can hit all the notes. <laughs> it's like yeah. simple, it's short. You know, when we start getting to the ones where you're ripping like the orange buttons, you know, you got to use all five fingers. Yeah, that's out of my league. I try to stay you- in my lane. You know, and call and uh. So you're like- so you're like playing it on medium. You're not doing the expert level, are you? I don't do the expert. I, I yeah. messed around with the hard, but then I fail after like the first. You know, once the chorus hits, I'm already out of the song. Yeah, that's fine. Plus, like you know, if somebody gets wise on you, take that axe and just, just right. start swinging that thing around. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, like Maya was my guy. Uh, Placido Polanco was fun watching. Yeah, uh, Brandon Inge. Um, and Inge, you, it, didn't Inge go? Did, Inge went to a home run derby one year, didn't he? Yeah. Didn't yeah. they let him in and he didn't hit any dingers? Yeah, that was the yeah, end. <laughs> that's like the worst thing, man. You can't do that. You got to hit at least one. You tell a clown to come perform at your party and you can't blow up a balloon. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He was no, a hell of a player, no. though, Inge, man. Yes, he was. Yeah, yeah man. I'm watching those guys. You know, Miggy, he's still one of my favorites, too. Still got it. Hey, still that guy, he can still hit, man. <laughs> man. Hey, I gotta, I gotta take a break here. I gotta pay for this episode. Uh, so I talked to some of my sponsors, and they're like, "Oh, art's coming on. Hell, I love art." And so I got one of my major sponsors to. Uh, they got an ad that you're gonna read, so I'm gonna do mine first. Okay. Uh, today's episode of the Kim Murphy Podcast is brought to you by Stupid Coaches. Is your coach mad at you for hitting a grand slam? Is the other coach mad at you because they're losing by too much? It's because they're stupid coaches. Nut tap one today. <laughs> All right, you ready for my ad? I'm ready for you, man. All right. Today's episode of the Kent Murphy Podcast is brought to you <laughs> by Pitchers. I know as pitchers don't hit dingers, and that's boring, and we only play half the game every few days. But if you have something to say, I'll bring a heater high and tight and then put in, put in the Nolan Ryan headlock. Pitchers, let us hit dingers. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, man. The Nolan Ryan like the old yeah that's that's one of the most classic moves in baseball I mean, man. Who the hell is charging Nolan Ryan anyway? I mean, what are we doing? Robin Ventura. Yeah, he <laughs> learned real quick. Yeah, I was gonna say he uh, got he uh, got those Texas hands, man. I'm ready to see somebody charge Bauer. Hot <laughs> a little bit. I'm ready to. See I'm him. rooting for it. Anybody That's ever good. charged you? You ever been charged? No, I haven't. I I'm waiting for it to happen. <laughs> That's but. what I'm talking. So you feel pretty good about your chances then? That's yeah. what I'm getting at. Yeah. I I'll, I'll love first, it. My first move would probably be like a roundhouse kick. Take the, <laughs> take the helmet off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you can do a little Dalton, like a little roadhouse, a little Patrick Swayze. I'm like into first it. Like rock and rush hour. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, uh, you know the leg. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I, yeah. I, I just stick to like, I'll D, I DDT people and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't have the flexibility to do roundhouse kicks. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to have Evan come over and get on knee. I'll jump off his back and do a five-star frog splash. <laughs> I'm into it. I'll, I'll do a running bulldog and put him down before he can even get a move on. <laughs> no, nah, man. I don't know if it'll ever happen, honestly. Maybe. We'll see. But, I'm, hey, I'm, just, I'm glad to know that you're ready for it. You know what I mean? Oh, you have to. A lot, of guys, a lot of guys are like, I don't, you know, I don't want to fight. You're like, hell, man. And uh, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, if you want to charge a batter, I'd say you can go ahead and do that too. You don't. You don't even have to wait, man. If it gives you the wrong look. Just head right in there. You know what I mean? Swung too hard. All right. Yeah. I'm at the. You pull like you quick. do like the Amir Garrett and just run into their dugout and start man, fighting all of them. That guy's a monster. 
<laughs> well, if I, was, if I was his size too, I, I think I'd want to do the same thing. Him or Puig, where you decide to take on the whole team, it's a different animal. I get it. I get. It. I'm with you on that. I'm with it. <clears throat> what's your uh, what's your what what's your pump up music before a game? Like, what are you listening to before a game to get yourself Meek ready? Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Yeah. 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 Meek into like wins and losses intro. Um, going bad. I like Meek Mill a lot. He's got right. little, like uh, Eric Thomas mixed in it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. The bass drops, man. They, they get me hyped. I'm with it. Mine's more like Welcome to the Jungle, you know what I mean? Because I'm just like. <laughs> I, walked y'all out, I walked out to Welcome to the Jungle one time in like high school and it was. It was, <laughs> it was you awesome. thought you were badass too, yeah. didn't you? You're like, watch this, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm with it. Yep. But I, honestly, I, I like all kinds of music. Like I'll. I'll rock with with uh, some rock, alternative rap. I mean, country's you, not going to really pump me up. This is going. You can't. Yeah, you can't get pumped you know up. I mean, country. like you know what I mean. I'm going to be yeah. like chilling with the country, but yeah, Meek Mill will have me ready to run through a brick wall. The only thing country music's good for really is like the concerts, and it's not because like they sound good. It's just there's a lot of like there's I mean there's a lot of chicks running around a country music concert, man. You know what I mean. <laughs> The country music is basically stamina for twelve ounce girls. It's pretty much yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I, I'll I'll go unplug the mute, you know, the instruments and crap like that. I'm like, come on, ladies, we're going back to my house. I'm gonna play some Pantera and we're gonna get do do some dirty shit. You know what I mean? I gotta watch what I say. I'm engaged. I can't be talking. <laughs> she she ain't gonna watch this. No, nah, she won't. Yeah, she will. Uh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite baseball movie? Summer catch. Summer catch. Summer catch. You want to know why? Why? Jessica Biel. Have well, you ever, yeah, you, I, you I, I'm mad at catch? you there. Oh, I mean, talk about a ten out of ten. <laughs> you're, you're not lying about that. <laughs> now, summer catch is cool. Uh, um, let's see. Obviously, forty two is cool. Especially forty two is great. I just like it was so cool going to L. A. Uh, I went as a part of the taxi squad about a, 10 days ago now. And we went to LA and it was just awesome. Like being at Dodger stadium yeah. uh, the vibe, the history, the stadium, the, the music bumps. You feel like you're either at a college football game. Like I feel like I'm at Columbus, <laughs> Ohio ready to play Michigan uh, uh. or, yeah. <laughs> or I feel like it's, it's pregame at Friday night in my dorm room. We're, we're just blaring the speakers as loud as possible. I I'm mean, into it. It's an absolute party. It's it, their speaker system is unbelievable. So I thought that. Was <laughs> What's cool. LA, baby? They got You got to do it big out there. I mean, everything's showtime. You got to do it. <laughs> no, I got to stay. I left Ohio and went out to the Cali. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. hey, man. Is that is that your favorite? Is that your favorite ballpark you've been to yet? Uh, I would say I would say yeah, that one and the Rangers one is is really nice. It's brand new. Yeah, the new one's nice. Yeah, their scoreboard is huge. It's, and the people say the Cowboys uh, scoreboard is still bigger, but it was really cool. Um, I think maybe just because it was brand new, you know, everything is nice and, and clean and shiny. And it's just yeah. the way that they did the ballpark was kind of like Houston a little bit. <laughs> but I think L.A. was just sick, and uh, like all in all. Watching Kenley Jansen come out and close the game to California Love was probably one of the coolest <laughs> things. That all yeah, I, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good that's a good walkout song too. It's unbelievable. It's like yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine being a fan there. It's like two to one, and Kenley Jansen. He's like every bit of six 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 seven comes running out to California Love. I mean, I'm <laughs> going eight in the crowd. Well, you can't you can't really like watch a game there if you're not a Dodgers fan. You get beat up in the parking lot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, they don't they're not messing around up there. No, they're not. They're not. Yeah, I mean, I could walk. I mean, not me though. Like you know, I'd, shit, hell, I'll beat them all up in the parking lot myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who the hell's gonna approach you? Yeah, nobody. You know I mean? <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll smash my cheese dog right in their face, and hell, they won't even see what's coming. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I got your back, man. I got your back. <laughs> <laughs> so you, I gotta go back and say you're an Ohio State fan. Yeah. Oh well, you know what I heard. You know what a Buckeye is, right? Yeah. It's just a hairless nut. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 
Hey, some women like them shaved, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, some of them do. <laughs> not, th not the kind of girls I hang around with, you know what I mean? Yeah. She wants a real man, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little 70s vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Who's, your fa who's your favorite Ohio State player of all time? Well, since I, I watched mainly like that 2013 to 2015 team a lot, yeah. And I would, I would have to say Zeke. Ezekiel. He was a he's a bad man. He still is a bad man, it, isn't he? It was so fun to watch him. And then honestly, like Cardell Jones was was fun too. Cardell was good too. He, he didn't want to do nothing but play football. I loved it. Yeah. School to hell with it. Just get on the football field. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Throw the books away. Pick up the ball. I'm I'm I, into that. I didn't come here to play school. <laughs> you just <laughs> run around. I'll Selling don't. trophies and stuff? Okay. Hell, he doesn't care. <laughs> no, he don't care. Yeah. No, did you ever fun. play football? I did. I played uh, in high school. I was a – my junior year, I was a backup tight end, and I was a starting left tackle. I was 6'2", 195 pounds, starting left tackle. So you were, not, you were knocking people around then. For a little bit, and then we you went and played. some hits. Speaking of LeBron, we went and played LeBron's high school, Akron St. Benton St. Mary's, and there was a – uh, defensive tackle across from me. He's like 285. He was going to Bowling Green State University, and he just, I mean, just moved me wherever he wanted me to go. Yeah. And I, then I realized, like, all right, like, I'm, I'm not going to play football anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or at least. The hell with this. I'm going to go hit some dingers. <laughs> yeah, on the offensive line. <laughs> like, it comes to a point where you just get outmatched. You know what I mean? The That's like. 90 pounds on me. What am I going to do? Yeah, it's nothing you can do. And That's so, like the thing. Go ahead. I was just saying that's the thing. Like you could, you know, you go out there and hit them, but like if you're pitching, the last guy you want to see running out to mound is Zeke. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's a dude that just truck you over. You just want you want one of those wussy ass baseball players coming out. You know what I mean? You don't want them football guys coming out there. No, no way. I mean, we're we're talking about that a lot lately. We're trying to do the scenario like, all right, honestly, if you. If you were in the backfield in the NFL and you got 10 carries, how many yards do you honestly think you're getting? <laughs> a lot of guys are saying, like, they could rack up, like, 20 yards. I'm, no chance. <laughs> Those linebackers are fast, man. They're fast. Deep, I mean, you got to imagine Miles Garrett coming after you. He's First of all, he's faster than all of us. He's yeah. bigger than all of us. And after yeah. the first hit, you know what I mean, you're not going to be able to run yeah. nine hundred times. And by the time he's got the pads on, he's more pissed off than all of you. You know what I mean? Like, he ain't playing around. No. I mean, these guys legit want to kill you every time they hit yeah. you. Yeah. That's why I just I just put my swim move on him and you know, double juke, you know, whatever. I'll get around him. But, put Vaseline all over your body. You won't be able to grab well, it. Well, I, I ain't used to running anyway. Most of my run is just like a slow jog because I just hit a dinger. You know what I mean? Just a trot. Yeah, so I don't even know how to run, really. The shirt yeah. says it all. Yeah, you already know. You already know, man. All right, man. We got to get out of here. All I right. need a prediction. I need a prediction from you. Next, next full season, how many strikeouts you gonna get? Ooh. I'm gonna tell you what I think. I think you're gonna do 412. <laughs> 412. Yeah, that's my that's my prediction. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna I'm gonna do you one better. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna go with 420. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm picking and, up what you're putting down. Yep. And then I'm going to hit, as a pitcher, I'm going to hit about 10 bombs. I'm, hell, I'm into it. If you hit 10 bombs. 420 and 10 I will, bombs. I'm going to make, I'll make you a Kent Murphy trophy. Like, as an <laughs> honorary member of the Kent Murphy Hall of Fame, if you hit 10 dingers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get a hold of the Mariners and tell me I need yeah, well, to do bats. I, yeah, I'll, I'll t put me on the phone with Coach. I'll get him out <laughs> I'll get his mind wrapped around it. I'll be like, you want to win, don't you? Well, let him bat. <laughs> That's right. You know what I, I mean? Yeah. Open. I'm into it. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll, we'll have a press conference. We'll do a speech and everything, oh, man. I'll I'm... get you like a gold jacket or some crap like that. It'll be great. <laughs> All right. When you see me this offseason swinging on Twitter, you'll know what I'm shooting for. Hell, yeah. You heard it here, folks. Art <laughs> Warren guaranteed 420 strikeouts. Right. Guaranteed 10 dingers. Art, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, man. Stay healthy. Have a good rest of your year, brother. All right, guys. Hey, guys. Till next time. Hum that thing in there. I'm Kent Murphy.